East versus West nine. Wow. Here are my thoughts. We're up here in Northern Idaho and uh, we don't have Wi-Fi, So I didn't get to see all the matches. So I don't want to go into detail trying to discuss something I'm not fully knowledgeable about, but I did get to watch the co-main event and the main event. And let me tell you, they were amazing. Starting off with Rebaz versus Vitaly. Rebaz looked huge, but by God, every picture I saw of Vitaly, the guy looked like a giant, looked like he was probably put on 20 pounds. That first match, Rebaz looked strong. And in the strap, he cracked his wrist. And, you know, watching Vitaly pull from here with that pronated top row, I mean, you thought that he might get his arm hurt, something might get injured, and you just saw Rebaz bouncing on him, bouncing on him. And then all of a sudden, that low hand top row and pronation is so much that Rebaz has to dump his wrist. And you see Vitaly take it. And then from there, it's just smooth sailing. So it's crazy. You watch this stuff and you see Rebaz's performance and you see Vitaly take some losses. You don't really know what else is going on with somebody. You don't know if they have an injury or something's going on. But Vitaly looks like he's in top form. Like he looks like he's back to his 2019 form or better. So uh, I'm very impressed and excited about seeing what's next for him. Jumping on to the main event. All right, guys. Everyone's asked me, do you think Devin can do it? Do you think Devin can do it? Of course, it's possible. I just didn't think it was likely. I just thought the strength of Ermes, the hand and wrist of Ermes were going to be too much. Now, this is my opinion. I don't think Devin was the stronger opponent. I don't think Ermes was the stronger opponent. I think they were equally strong. What I do believe is Devin's ability to use his leverage, his height, and his hand totally negated everything that Ermes had to offer, right? It's not always the longer lever that wins. It's how, if you know how to use the longer lever. And Devin is as good as they come. He's the most proficient technical arm wrestler on the planet. And the fact that he has came into his strength and he is equally as strong as the top super heavyweights makes him a very, very difficult man to beat. What he did yesterday wasn't a lot of mess around in the setup. There was some, but that's Devin, right? There was not much. What I saw was Army's referee's grip getting away with this, like open his hand back, open his hand back up. And finally he started getting called for it. And I was like, dude, close your hand. So I think he was, you know, Ermey said he wasn't gonna get in his head. He wasn't gonna be mind games. Dude, from round one, Ermey's is all in his head. Devin had already won the match at that point. I'm sitting there watching this. I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna kill him. He, he's gonna kill him, you know? And honestly, in retrospect, it almost looked like a mismatch. The fact that Devin was able to do that to Ermey's Gasparini, after what Ermey's just did to Jerry four weeks ago and how hard of a fight Ermey's put up against uh, Levon. I mean, my God, that's, uh, I even posted on my Instagram and Facebook. That was the most impressive I've ever seen Devin Lair. Of all the matches, all the titles, that was, I've never been that impressed with Devin. Now I say all that to say, I honestly think Devin's got a shot at Levon. I genuinely think he's got a shot at Levon. Because if he stops it, puts the brakes on him, gets any type of confidence, we saw what he can do. Now, the match I want to see is him and Vitaly. And the reason I'm so interested in that is Devin's usually the guy with the longer lever. Vitaly is a much larger human being. A longer lever, probably by that much. And Devin and I spoke a couple times, and he always thought that Vitaly was the bigger threat for him. So, I know he's pulling Dennis, and he said he's going after Angerbaya. So... What I'm hearing him say is I've won the heavyweight championship of the world. I've won the super heavyweight championship of the world. I'm going to go avenge a loss left-handed on my right arm that I've wanted for over a decade. Then I'm going to go down and win the light heavyweight. And then I'm out. I mean, because that's what my mind tells me. Devin wants to beat Dennis, go take over the 105 class, and they either just have fun with arm wrestling or, like, go into promotions or something or just seminars or travel the world and just be the, the face of arm wrestling. I'm not sure, but to me, it would not make a lot of sense to go as dominantly and strong as where he's at right now, which is clearly his peak down to 105 kg and then try to build yourself back up. I mean, if anyone could do it, it'd be him, but that's kind of what I see. I'm excited to see what happens next. I w you know, if he gets through Dennis, which by the looks of it, looks like he might have a very good chance of doing that. I would like to see him defend one more time versus Vitaly because I think Vitaly may, I want to say maybe the kryptonite, but I don't, is there a kryptonite? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's the fact that Vitaly is longer. The fact that he's longer and he's, he, 
I did not think he was extremely versatile, but watching him pull from this position and then getting this was insanely impressive. Um, everyone's been saying how strong Devin is right now. And I think he, he's got it. He's got the right mix of everything. His stem cell therapy, I think is working wonders for him. And also I think so much of arm wrestling is mental. I think he feels better. He feels stronger. He feels capable. Um, that says a lot. So I'm excited about my return to uh, heavyweight, super heavyweight, who knows, maybe light heavyweight division. I don't know where I'm going to end up at, but uh, I'm enjoying watching this journey and seeing the landscape of arm wrestling right now. Devin crushed it, dude. I'll try to get home uh, in a couple days, go back and watch all the matches and give you a full detailed review on everything else. But until then, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.